Dima versus Yuya Oshima. Dmitry Ovtarov now with the serve. Deep on the table, played a little bit on the elbow. Wang Chun Ting steals the first point on the receive. The backhand serve that he learned from his father, Michael Ovtarov. Very big in table tennis. The USSR in 83. As far as Wang Chun Ting's performance here, started off beating Lin Jung Hyun of Korea. Four games to two. It's been a very difficult task for many players, especially in the under 21 category. Kenta Matsudaira after that, four to zero. And then following that, beat Masaki Yoshida earlier today. Four games to zero. So Wang Chun Ting in very solid form, slightly less challenged than Dima has been. Serve comes a bit too long, and even though he clips the top of the net, Wang Chun Ting with a clean opening attack, or at least a, queen, a clean swing at it. Much better third ball attack. Sort of expecting Dima to go deep to the backhand on this one. Plays it half long to the forehand. It's a relatively soft opening attack and the flip from Wang Chun Ting. He's expecting it right there and counters for the winner. Unbelievable power on that counter from Dmitry Ovdrov off the table. Ace on the backhand. Love to see that again throughout the match. Oh, beautiful backhand this time, bending away to the forehand, taking advantage of having Wang Chun Ting in over the table. Excellent angle from a backhand standpoint. Back in the days when Lu Guoliang was playing, it was only one side of the racket that was used, and Lu Guoliang developed the reverse pen hold backhand that you will see Wang Chung Ting. Wang Chung Ting use again and again throughout this match. Excellent receive. He's very consistent on that backhand. Oh. But Dima anticipates, turns the corner, and counters back. Heavy, heavy side spin, almost straight side spin there. Little fortune for Wang Chun Ting off the top of the net. Dima doesn't recover. You can see the full swing he gets at the ball here. Less rotation on it, catches the top edge of the racket. Beautiful counter attack. That's the reverse Ben Holt backhand. Now it's funny, Xu Xin, world rank number three. Four spots ahead of Wang Chun Ting currently, although after this tournament we'll see. Wang Chun Ting with the more consistent backhand, the best backhand we've ever seen with this grip, the reverse pen hold backhand, belongs to Wang Hao, who is part of the ever shifting coaching staff within the Chinese Table Tennis Association. Wang Hao has recently been working with Fan Zhendong. Ma Lin had recently been working with Ma Long. Got it. Now another thing about the pen hold grip, you're not in danger of hitting your hand on the back of the table as much as you would be with the shake hands grip, because the racket is the lowest thing to cross the table. So very good in doubles and very good at receiving balls close to the back edge of the table. No problem, Wang Chun Ting has studied this serve well. Often heavy backspin. A variety of side spins combined with underspin from Dima's tomahawk serve. Got it. 
He counters in at the table. As strong as that backhand was from off the table, Dmitry Ovtrov early on, he's going to want to get that backhand in near the table from the backhand corner. So he's got the length to work with. He can play it a little faster, more of a drive, and less of that arcing spin shot. Again, anticipation and quick footwork and movement from Wang Chun Ting earns him four game points in game one. Whoa, what a shot! Unbelievable recovery. This ball around the net solo to the table. Not a three bouncer like Fang Zhendong's, but watch this one more time. Dima, top of the net. Wang Chun Ting comes running around the table so low, and that is some feeling to go with the footwork. Wang Chun Ting on fire right now. Beautiful shot, and he takes game one with fashion. Make sure there's no cramping, muscles stay loose. Just thinking back to Wang Chun Ting singing Frank Sinatra and thinking how different his energy is when he's relaxing versus when he's on the table. The umpire called it hitting the net. Neither of the players saw it, so they assumed it was a service warning. The giant exhale backhand from Dima. It's a two-point lead to start off game two, breaking both serves. Very patient receive. Wang Chun Ting reads the backspin. But still Dima's there to counter. Now, thinking about energy at the tournaments, it's interesting to see the difference in the players and their focus. Ma Long, typically so focused at tournaments, they wouldn't even dare say hi to him because he's just head in the game, making sure that he can stay on top of everything. Wang Chun Ting always seems to be quite cheery and approachable. Which is quite impressive because players much weaker than him in the world rankings have a similar level of focus or at least more so, like Ma Long, than Wang Chun Ting's really easygoing, chill attitude. Oh, the grunt, he turns the corner, has the opening. Wang Chun Ting's so fast, though, this is a time limited, a limited time opportunity, I should say. Dima has to play it wide, deep to the corner, and fast. First towel break of the game. Dima now with the serve, leading by two. Not too often we see Wang Chun Ting go for a behind the back shot. We had two successful ones last week in Japan, one with Shushin and one with Mahadu Yoshimura. This ball just now wide enough to the backhand side for Wang Chun Ting to contact. Little surprise on the placement. Dima going the other way, has to recover wide to the forehand. Now, Dima has a very interesting set of skills. He's worked with a lot of coaches throughout the years. Jorgen Persson was working with him on footwork a lot. One main difference between him and some of the top Chinese players in the world. Ooh, a dangerous shot from below the table. Wang Chun Ting fearlessly going for this. This is the importance of having a backhand side of the racket as a pen holder. Otherwise, that becomes a fishing shot. And at this level, you quickly become a defensive player. Once again, that spinny opening backhand. Traditionally, the pen hold with the same side, the forehand side of the racket, just doesn't get the wrist, generate the spin or the speed that we just saw Wang Chun Ting get.
Clever idea, Dmitry Ovtrov waits patiently in the forehand corner. And that adds extra pressure for Wang Chun Ting to make a quality shot. He's already committed to moving in. If he plays it more to the middle of the table, he leaves open the backhand side. Three nets in the same points. Dima tried so hard, he got all three of them back. Let's we'll see if we can see his reaction here after the point. Let's see if he holds it up. There's definitely the Aya expression, which I guess is more of a Hong Kong expression that Dima's feeling and showing with his face in this point. Dima still has the lead at the second towel break of the game. He's up 7-5. Looking to repeat history. Hasn't lost to Wang Chunting before. Wang Chunting moving to the middle of the table to change it up. Too strong. A little bit of top inside. Pops it up, plays it into the body. Again, when your opponent's that close to the table, wait, see where they go. Hit it behind the momentum into the body. Opportunity there, that's a big point for Dmitry Ovtrov. You can tell by the way he chode and looked back at Wang Chun Ting. Could have been 7-7 right now. As a slow spinny ball, tries to play it aggressively to the short side of the table. That double pump action at the back of the table. Wang Chun Ting's receive is trouble. Trouble for him to make anyway. Dima now two points away. And taking the second game. Seven, nine. Now it's been a while since we've seen a service here. Dmitry Ovtrov has some of the most iconic serves, I'd say the most iconic serves in the men's game. And in some of his very tight matches against top Chinese players, we've seen him miss many serves under pressure. The pressure's starting to build out here as well. Excellent short stroke counter from Wang Chunting. Two game points for Dima. Third towel break, he'll have the serves. Again, the energy around the stadium has been very interesting. Even at the mall across the street on lunch break, everyone buzzing around, talking about the big news here, trying to figure out what's going on. Get Wang Chunting's coach in the corner. Lu Guodong, but it's Dmitry Ovtarov who takes game two to tie it up. 11 points to eight. The ripping playing with the new D40 plus balls, which bounce a little bit higher, a little bit harder, more consistent for the rallies. Wang Chunting wants to make sure he's back at the table, of course, and ready before the serve comes in. Perfect placement right into the crossover point. Dima waiting for it on the forehand. Caught an indecision. You can really hear how much energy was put into that by Dima. Digs deep and down low to loot this ball. Remember, Dmitry Ovtrov stands quite tall. It's six foot two, probably 187 centimeters, something in there. 20. My conversion might not have been accurate. I'll try to look that up for you. But either way, to get that low for Dima, very difficult. Koki Niwa, on the other hand, naturally a low center of gravity. A little bit easier to move side to side. Nice placement from Dima out to the forehand. Oh. 
Backhand to backhand counter exchange, Wang Chun Ting. Now Wang Chun Ting should have the spinnier shot in these fast exchanges close to the table. A little bit off the top of the net there. Dima's backhand though, the rocket backhand near the table against Zhang Jika in 2014 at the World Championships was unstoppable. Probably the most dominant backhand performance I've seen from any single player. So Dima standing six foot one when converted into centimeters. 183. Make that 185 and a half. Some faulty sources out here. <laughs> good times, good times. Tied up at four points each as we're in game three. Again, this will put one player in the lead. We're dead even in points and games. First time that the spin is overpowered. It's heavy backspin on that serve. See if we can read the contact here. At the bottom 45 degree angle. The trick to that serve that a lot of first timers against Dima have, if they haven't studied him carefully, is that the ball tossed, the, the angle of the racket starts off on the top half of the ball, closed, and then it becomes open under the ball by the time he actually contacts it. <laughs> a child in the crowd seemed to accidentally pop a thunder stick. Every once in a while, a loud noise during a quiet moment can be enough to break someone's concentration. Oh, what a way to win a point! Dima was completely fooled by the serve, going the other way, and he gets the racket out behind him. And then a very defensive shot here. Wang Chung Ting trying to get on top of this. Now with a pen hold grip, we've seen it from time to time where a player will actually turn it to a shake hands grip as a pen holder and start smashing. It's very uncomfortable for the wrist to come down from that high on the ball with the pen hold grip. You can find videos of Ma Lin doing that back in the day. Someone who likes to play a lot of high balls, myself, actually had pen holder players doing the same strategy to make sure that they had a bit more flexibility from up high. Either way, just one point. And Wong Chun Ting seems to be very focused, not too bothered. Again, the professional athletes know how to move on, how to learn from the past, but not dwell on it, stay positive. No point in worrying about something you can't change, like the past. For Dima to be this passive early in the point, to get into the blocking game is gonna be dangerous. We'll see if it's too late in this game. Either way, four game points for Wang Chun Ting. Fast long serve pays off for Dima. One game point saved. Another fast long serve, but a better answer from Wang Chun Ting at 11 to 7. Hong Kong's Wang Chun Ting takes the lead two games to one over Germany's Dmitry Ovtrov, and we'll be back for game four right after this.
victory for Dmitry Ovtarov. So regardless of the overall outcome, the game situation no longer an undefeated okay. one for Dima. Dima looking to get in early in the point, play aggressively. If he can't, he's gonna have to keep it short and try to set himself up for a big attack after. Well, the angle there was wide enough, probably not the game plan Dima was looking for, being in the blocking position and allowing the first big attack to Wang Chunting. But he does counter well and create the wide opening. Beautiful counter this time. Backhand out to the middle of the table. Dima putting more pressure on. Excellent use of the wrist there. Has the racket cocked back just a bit to snap through and add to the ball. Smart play, waits patiently. Again, if you get that serve that earns the pop-up third ball, take your time. But he has an idea before still. The ball right at its peak. Doesn't have to race to get it. Second attempt, he contacts the ball. At this rate, the third behind the back attempt here will make it on the table, we'll see. Goes big, trying to cover the wide angle. At the end, this sounds like a funny thing to criticize the angle of the racket on a behind the back shot. That's gonna be a behind the back lob. Focus from Dima to stay in there off the top of the net. Rare we see reverse pen hold backhand chop locks. Something similar out here from Wang Chun Ting. That is an outstanding serve as deep and fast as they come. Big surprise. And not just execution, but timing as well, to use that serve out here when no one's expecting it, especially, and most importantly, Dmitry Ovtarov. Tempting serve right at the back edge of the table. But Dima's got the plan figured out. Again, if it's right near the back edge, not a lot of room for a full comfortable swing. Much more effective serves. He's giving Wang Chunting a bit more trouble here. Again, sometimes in the service game, it's not how spinny the ball is but the variations of the spin can really create the trouble for the receiver and sometimes even taking spin off the ball. A dead serve, Kong Chiu. <laughs> Left out in front, the arcing ball shallow. Dima has to play from out in front. Again, with footwork comes the ability to move in and out Agility and balance. One thing Sun Ying Sha is so impressive at doing is playing the ball from in front and pretty much anywhere, just staying loose in the point. Right down the middle, two big points for Wang Chun Ting. Again, with the 
walkovers of the top three players. This is a big title that's up for grabs. And any of the four players, any combination could end up in the final. Missed contact from Wang Chunting, catches the edge of the racket, a three-point lead back to Dima. Wang Chunting with some fans here. He did play the Chinese Super League last season. Beautiful backhand parallel out to Dima's forehand. Chasing by two. And he's gonna have two serves right here. He used the long serve effectively last time. Look at how well he reaches out in front. Not easy to do. We saw Dima try earlier. That stroke, a very unusual, interesting stroke, comes back over and behind the head. Whoa, where did that one come from? Unbelievable shot. This ball is dangling out in front and it's low. We got a timeout from Dmitry Ovtrov. Lu Guodong on his feet, ready for Wang Chun Ting. Talked about agility, but the ability to take this ball to the backhand side of the table. He's on the run for the backhand. This ball's way out in front. It's table height when he hits that. It's a very unlikely shot. Look how full arm stroke that is. Leaves the arm way behind. Keeps the shoulder lagging just a little bit to play it late. He's thinking as Dima's trying to stay loose, keep himself pumped up. Very focused out here right now on the receive, coming from more on the forehand side. The serve, and it catches the back edge of the table. Two game points for Dmitry Ovtrov right out of the timeout. Even in the replay, that was very fast. Oh, and the luck comes back even better. Top of the net, and it rolls across. Love to see a slow motion of this. Flip top of the net. Now you couldn't see the ball bounce. The sound was very interesting. Let's watch it from here. One, and it's clearly table. Had it hypothetically hit the net clamp, it would be considered the net, which would be like hitting the net twice and going off the table. But it's just clean top of the table, a little closer to the clamp. One game point saved. Oh, beautiful soft shot. Dima regathering himself. And instead of going for a big bold shot, plays it softly. Very strong start to the point by Wang Chun Ting. And careful play pays off this time for Dmitry Ovtrov. And we're tied up at two games apiece. We'll be back for game five to see who takes the lead right after this. Back for game number five. Dmitry Ovtrov at the bottom of the screen here. Campaigning to come back in. It's been back and forth every other game so far. Starting off game five with the serve. Well, that serve drifts a little bit long. The fact that Dima's ready for the shot cross court earns him the point. Interestingly enough, the shorter serve here and Dima doesn't get a long ball to attack. Ends up in the pushing game and then has to back off. Some clear frustration out there. I've seen Dima win some big points in this tournament by running that corner, turning around and taking the backhand wide on the forehand corner. Time it pays off, gets in for the aggressive. It's hard to call it a Chiquita, it's so fast. Technically that's what it is. He gets the wrist back, plays the very wristy shot from the forehand side with the backhand over the table. Three, two. 
Nice combination. Wong Chun Ting to the forehand, deep to the backhand. Again, as fast as the feet are from Wong Chun Ting, you can count on a weaker shot coming back when someone's on the run, trying to run backwards as well. Now for a different serve, Dmitry Ovtarov was actually warned in this tournament about dipping the ball below the table. It's tough to tell from the camera angle, but it definitely does look close, very close. It's also tough to tell on the pendulum serve, he does bring his hand up and then dip it down right before he throws it, so it might drop a little bit lower than one imagines. Oh, back edge of the table to end an excellent rally. A strong fight from both players. Dima the better of the players in this last point. Counter attacks. There was no question Wang Chunting was looking to counter with the backhand. He's getting ready for the swing. Not planning to lob it or fish it. Placement of these backhand serves have been very effective. Again, since early in last game, the points that Dmitry Ovtrov has won on serve have been much higher. Dmitriov, uh, Dmitry Ovtrov running away with this game here, a seven point lead. We'll see what Wang Chun Ting comes back with. This game is nearly over, eight game points for Dima. One strong response, quickly turn the corner, recognize a long serve, get ready for a full arm stroke. Seven game points left for Dima. Despite the heavy spin and the kick on the second bounce of that serve, it's well read. Strong opening attack, Wang Chun Ting saves two game points in a row, now has the serves. Patient play right into the body of Dima. Dima, no timeouts left. Something we see Ding Ning do so effectively, the racket heads straight up in near the body. You could see the frustration. Wang Chun Ting decided not to go aggressive and try to play a short ball from over the table. And Ovtrov takes advantage of getting the opening quickly. 11 to five, it's a three to two match. We're coming back for game six right after this short break. Stay here. A lot of suspense here in the arena on many fronts. After all that work, the big grunting shots from Dima gets countered back. One or two saved, and Wang Chun Ting playing from wide. Look at this ball around the net. But it's the follow up backhand running in. Dima holds firm in the counter loop game. Two spinny backhands, change of placement. One more in at the body than the one before. Wide backhand, right to the middle. Two, 
Again, with the camera above the table, when half of that ball disappears for a moment, you can understand. Right there. A higher camera should have a cleaner view of the ball. It's always difficult for a player, though, to be called on a service if they've not been called on it before, whether it's the right call or not. It's a little bit surprising for them in general. Now, as strong as Wang Chunting is on the backhand, he's still going to be looking for the forehand opportunity. So for Dima to keep him pinned in the backhand side, not allow him to turn, could force a little hesitation, get a slower shot back. That one right there was a big point. Ball comes a little bit loose, and Wang Chunting with an opportunity for the forehand. At the first towel break of the game, Wang Chunting trailing, and he calls a timeout. Saw him walk way away from the towel box and realized he was going to be in for a bit more conversation. Now it looked like there was a show for the receive game to use the front side, the traditional pen hold backhand before opening up with the turnaround. That would be very interesting. We don't see that too often, but I imagine it could help keep the ball shorter on the receive as it'd be easier to take earlier. There's also less racket motion going on than turning to the backhand side where you have all that wrist flexibility. The RPB, the reverse pen hold backhand. like he went to the RPB for the receive. Two backhands in a row, and he gets the point out of the timeout. Good for the morale of Wang Chunting, the energy out here. Serve sits up just a little bit, and Wang Chunting there for the flip into the body. Ties up the game. Now, Dima was tested in the last round earlier today by Yuya Oshima in a seven-game battle. Will it be the same out here? We'll see. Off the top of the net, but Wang Chun Ting steps into the lead. Dima taking an extra moment there, making sure he's ready for the serve. Well played right into the middle on the body. Wang Chunting backed off the table, gives Dima a little bit more time to make this follow-up shot. Very fearless, wristy backhand. Excellent follow-up. Again, not just returning the ball on the table, but returning it in a way that Dima doesn't have an easy third ball attack. It's amazing the quality of this received before. Wang Chun Ting spinning it deep on the table, fast and low, still Dima with an answer. We'll break off the top of the net, and Dima with a two point lead at the second towel break of the game. So no timeouts left. 
Now, even though this toss breaks a little bit more to the forehand side, it's a high toss, so it's still definitely nearly vertical. Players have to adapt to the angle changing from the point of the toss to the point of the contact. And the crowd behind Wang Chun Ting right now. Could it be that they just want to see a game seven? Both of these players have had their cheering sections here. The knee brace is off and the point goes long. What a rally. An unfortunate time for Wang Chun Ting's knee brace. And he's saying, hey, did the ball crack? If the ball cracked while it's still in play, they would replay the point. And you could argue this happened to Dima when he was up 2-0 deuce against Fan Zhendong. I believe it was the World Tour Grand Finals last year in Qatar. So this is interesting. If the ball's broken, technically... Well, that's interesting. Dima said the ball's not in two parts. I think simply if the ball is broken, it would be replayed. At the point of contact. Well, we'll keep you posted about that. I'm sure I'll hear details soon. Interestingly enough, it was Carl Yindrak who I was able to talk to when it happened with Fan Zhendong versus Dima. That very tense moment not too long ago. A very good mental composure there, Wang Chun Ting, right back in the point. You have to imagine if you're Wang Chun Ting, that at least a conversation on that. But Dima felt that he knew the rule and knew it well. Two points advantage here to Dmitry Ovtrov. And since that incredible point where the knee brace came off and the ball cracked, they got a new ball in. Two points to Wang Chun Ting. He's now trailing by one. them both will see nine all in game six. Well played into the middle. It's a spinnier ball with a little time and covers and counters. At this level that ball sits up just too high. forehand flip in the eye contact from Dmitry Ovtrov with the Chole. It's two match points for Dima to move on to the men's singles final of the China Open. Third towel break of the game. Hong Chun Ting has the crowd behind him. moves on 11 to 8 in game 6 over Wang Chun Ting and what a match a strong fight from both players but Dmitry Ovtrov in outstanding form out here
And the players with a good handshake and a few kind words to each other. Good match, strong fight. And now over to the coaches, of course. But Dmitry Ovtrov waits for the winner of Tomokazu Hari, uh, Tomokazu Harimoto versus teammate Timo Boll from Germany, which is coming up right after this. You do not want to miss it. It will be a mystery, a very first for the world to see the next test for 13-year-old sensation.